Hi. Hey, I'm going to try this one last time, and then I'm going to freak out and beat the hell out of my computer. This is the third video I've made, and apparently I rant so damn much that I can't get it under 10 minutes. But I'm just so excited about everything that's happened, and I'll try to do it. And if I can't, then I'll say F it, and I'll make two parts to the video. Whatever. I got, I got me a watch now. I got me a facile watch. Um, my hubby's watch so I can look at the time. So anyway, here I am, I'm back. Um, eight days post-op. Um, mm, let's see, what else is new? Um, eight days post-op, feeling really good. There's a couple things I want to talk about about some of the realities that I haven't heard really anybody else speak on, and I want to talk about them because they're very necessary to knowing what happens during this recovery time after your surgery. Um, well, let's see. First of all, let me talk about the surgery itself. My lung collapsed the day after I left the hospital. I was in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday afternoon, evening, I went back with the most excruciating, terrible, god-awful, sickening pain I've ever felt in my life. I thought my other remaining belly was hiccuping. Um, it was really sick. It was really disgusting how much pain I was in. I couldn't walk. I couldn't sit. I couldn't stand. I couldn't do it. It was just terrible. But, um, Turns out the full two-hour prep CT scan found that I have, whoa, tiny little air bubbles. It's the tiny little air bubbles. I'm sorry, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, tiny little air bubbles, water-filled air bubbles in my lungs that made the lining of my lungs thick, and they just said, screw it, we're done. So they, it collapsed, and um, it was a partial collapse, and it's not a damn thing to be messing with. It is terrible, something that all surgery... Um, surgical procedures can have happen, not just gastric bypass, so please don't worry about it being related to the gastric. It was not. As a matter of fact, the full CT scan is probably the best thing I could have ever asked for. I mean, it shows everything, any tiny little blood clot, any tiny little anything. They probably know stuff about me that I won't even know until it happens now. But anyway, um, kidneys, lungs, liver, heart, gallbladder, everything they looked at, from my neck to my uterus. Um, anyhow, um, everything looked good. It was definitely related to the fact that they keep your lungs operating while you're in surgery, and that sucks. It was the it was terrible. They gave me they sent me home with morphine again after that. Um, okay, that's that. They, they're freaking out here on the time. Um, let me tell you something about the gastric bypass though that I haven't heard anybody else talk about. The fact that, that there is some difficulty in wiping your own ass after you have the surgery is something that people need to know. Um, most of us are pretty big anyway. I mean, and that's not a challenge being big, but um, <laughs> when you have some pain in your belly and your whole gut area, the whole swooping around to wipe, you know, not so easy, not so easy. You might want to try alternate uh, routes <laughs> or methods. In my case, since my lung collapsed, my alternate route was my hubby. <laughs> he wanted to come home and get a piece of ass, and he literally got a piece of ass. Anyway, he had to. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't turn. It just so happened that I used my right. Never mind. Whatever. Um, whatever. Uh, let's see. The fact that you have to be a beached whale to get out of bed and, like, roll over like tubby to get out, that's not cool. I don't really like that. Sleeping on your back sucks for a week if you don't like to sleep on your back. I don't. Um, mm, I'm not really so ha fond of the drugs either. For a while it was cool to be all, hey, let's go hug a tree or something. You know, I don't know. Um, it was cool to be like that for a little while, and now I'm just like, I hate the feeling of being out of it. I mean, it was for a while I could have sat there like this for days. It sucks. I'm, I'm an active person. I do not like to be laid up. Um, well, let's see. I notice myself getting skinnier. I know I'm definitely thinner. Uh, you know, I'm doing it. I mean, I, I can't believe that I'm okay. I made it out. I'm, I'm shocked that the recovery time is really pretty, you know, it's, it's not so bad. I mean, it's, it's not great, but it's not... Um, Two got awful terrible, and um, I don't like taking crushed pills. That's going to kill me for the rest of my life. <laughs> you 
Anyway, um, I also wanted to check in with everybody about the eating early because I have been noticing on some people's pages and, and from friends of mine around here that they start eating before they're allowed to. Like it seems like about 10 days and I don't know if it's because you're hungry or if it's because you just feel like you're ready to eat, which is completely fine and, and wonderful, but, and I am starting to be interested in food. Um, not quite yet, and I do intend on waiting until Monday. But um, are, is that everybody's experience, or is that uh, just random folks' experience? Let me know. That would be kind of cool to know. But let's see. I'm down 27 pounds. 27 pounds. I was 295 April 13th. I was 280 the day of surgery. I'm 268.2 today. Um, it just, it so trips me out. I just cannot believe that it's, it's, actually, it's actually happening. And I can tell, um, I can tell. And that's just the greatest feeling ever. Um, for those of you um, on the front side of this surgery and are contemplating, go for it. Go for it. Definitely, definitely go for it. It's a little rough. There's, it's a little complicated, but um, I'm on the other side now, and I am feeling great. Um, keep in touch with me, guys. I'm. Thank you for all the prayers and everything, and and all the thoughts and help and and wonderful videos. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying mine. And I will check in with y'all soon. Bye bye.